It's always outside raining, and then we're gonna be looking for the rain of the Holy Ghost to right. take place inside of here. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And we ain't let rain stop us from obeying God and worshiping Him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We thank God for you viewing. Amen. Praise God. If you want to sow, if you want to give, amen, you can sow it by cash out L B T F M I N. Amen. Praise God. If you want to sow, amen, that way. Amen. Praise God. We thank God for you coming on. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you that is on Instagram, Facebook, as well as on YouTube. Amen. Praise God. We are streaming live. Amen. Right here from LBTL Ministry. Praise God. We thank God for Jesus. Amen. Praise God. And we honor God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, amen. Praise God. If you want to do that, do, that, do so. But we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Come on. Lift that song up for me, daughter. Amen. Praise God. And we're going to worship. Amen. We're going to worship him. Amen. Praise God. Come on. As the woman of God getting ready to come forth. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll bless this offering. Father, we bless this offering. Lay your hands up on this. Touch every person that gave, God. Even those that may be viewing, Lord God, that might want to sow, Father, you bless them now, of God. Lay your hands up on them, Lord God. Touch them in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, by your power, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah! Give me some more volume on that, daughter. Come on. Come on, everybody. Lift your hands up. Come on and worship. Come on and worship. Hallelujah. This become our favorite song. Come on. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! to turn it over into the woman of God's hands. Your thoughts define me. Your thoughts define me.
bread. Hallelujah. He's like a part of the sun standing on the wood, on the door porch waiting on you to return. Turn it up some more, daughter. Come on. Ha! Come on. Hey, double shake. I want you, Jesus. I want you in my life, God. The way you love me. Lord, I love you. I love the way you love me. I love the way you love me, Jesus. Come on. I want to take myself. I want to put myself in your shoes. Get up and put my feet in your shoes. Come on. Hey, no more shake. If you're looking for a daddy, Jesus is your daddy. He will be your father. He will be your God.
Skin on my bones. Lift him up, come on. You're more real How than real? Than Father and his yeah. 
predestined place. Come on, come on. To know him as Abba. It's yeah. one thing to call him Father. Uh -huh. It's another thing to call him Abba. Come on, come on. I ain't going to teach on that tonight. But get to an understanding. To call him Abba is a real intimate relationship come on, with come him. Come on, come on. Come on, get a, a lot of us is too surface with him. Woo! What you say? We gotta go deeper. What Come you on, say? Yeah. We gotta go deeper. Uh, too get surface. A, 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 I'm, I'm a t I'll teach on that on another night. Amen. Another yeah. time. <laughs> Tonight, the word that the Lord has given me to teach, and of course, it's probably gonna carry on a little bit. Um, defining purpose. Defining purpose. Uh huh. Through understanding destiny. Wow. You got to go through understanding. Defining purpose. Ooh, Jesus. Through understanding uh, destiny. My God. Defining purpose uh -huh. will help you. Uh -huh. It will help you fulfill destiny. Come on now. Purpose, 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 purpose. Before I get too far ahead of myself, I want you to get to Ephesians chapter 1. Because this is good to me. So if I run off from y'all, y'all just catch up with me. Okay. Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. So God wants you to know that you have purpose. Come on. You have purpose. You have purpose. Actually, before we go to um, Ephesians, I think. All right, let's go to Ephesians. Um, yeah, let's lay it out. Let me lay the foundation. Praise the Lord. Let me lay the foundation. Right. Ephesians chapter 1. And the word of God says, Paul, uh -huh. an, an apostle of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. by the will of God, yeah, yeah, yeah. to the saints which are at Ephesus, uh -huh. and to the faithful in Christ. Jesus. Come on, come on. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Yeah. Grace be to you. Uh huh. And peace from God. Well. Our Father. Yeah. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't get to destiny unless you know Him. Come you on. gotta know Him. You gotta know Him. You gotta know Him. Come it on, says, man. Grace be to you. Yeah, yeah. And peace. And peace. From God, from God, our Father, our Father. and on. from the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Is that what your Bible says? Yes, it is. You cannot get to destiny uh -huh. unless you know him. Unless you know him. Purpose came before you were ever conceived in your mother's womb, and we'll read about that. Purpose was born then. But you cannot get to destiny uh -huh. until you know him. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm going to slow down. So grace be to you uh -huh. and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. It says, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. In heavenly places in Christ. in Christ. Some of you just don't know who you are yet. Ah. You just don't know who you connected Never. to. Never. You just don't know Abba yet. Never. You still trying to deal with God and Father and Jesus and figure them all out. Woo. But when you know Abba, then you're not in hesitation. You're not in question of who you are. Verse 4. According as he has chosen us uh -huh. in him. In him. Before the foundation of the world. Uh -huh. That we should be holy and without blame before him uh -huh. in love. In love. Y'all understand that? Yes, ma'am. According as he has chosen oh, us. Chosen us. In him. Uh-huh. Before uh -huh. the foundation of the world. Uh-huh. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse 5. Having predestinated uh -huh. us uh -huh. unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. 
Father, we thank you, thank you Jesus. for your word that thank is already you. blessed. We thank you for the hearers, doers, and keepers of your word. Thank Father, you. I ask that as I stand before your people, that you stand up in me, Lord. Yes, that God. I deliver what you would have unto your people, Lord. Yes, that they be healed, delivered, and set free from all that bound them, that all that interfere with purpose, all that is hindered, stagnated, and caused a hesitation of destiny being fulfilled. Father, we release this word that your purpose and destiny be fulfilled in your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to come back and break these scriptures down. But listen to purpose. The definition of purpose. The reason for which something exists. The reason right. for which something exists. That's the definition. Come on. Or is done. Uh -huh. It is for it. The reason it was made uh -huh. and intended or desired results. So purpose. Uh -huh. The reason for which something exists. Come on, come on, come on. So your very existence. Uh -huh. Your very existence. The fact that you were conceived in your mother's womb, there was purpose in that. Amen. 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 I don't care if you were, you know, born in sin and shaped in iniquity. That's what the Bible says. You yet had purpose, not just for earth, not right. just for worldliness, but purpose that was predestined by God. That's right. That's right. And so it doesn't matter. I, I love Paul's story because Paul had some experiences that if yeah. you knew him yeah, yeah. in his time before Christ, yeah, yeah. you never would have knew a right. thought that he was called and chosen by God. You never would That's have right. said that he would be one of the greatest apostles. That's right. You never would have right. said that not Paul, not Saul. No, he won't be That's one of the right. writers of the right. book. So right, come on. Not him. That's right. Not a murderer. Uh, so I want to encourage you tonight. Yes, God. If they called you a liar, come it doesn't here. matter. Come on here. If they called you a murderer, it doesn't matter. If murderer. they called you a whoremonger, it yes. doesn't matter. If they murder. called you a lesbian, a uh, homosexual, it ooh. doesn't matter. If they called you a murder. renegade, a throwaway, an yes. alcoholic, a drug addict, right. it doesn't matter. Preach the reason for yeah. which something the reason. exists. The reason. And so destiny, uh -huh. destiny, something that is to happen or has happened uh -oh. to a particular person. <laughs> so I love this. And so it's either you already in destiny or you on your way to destiny. Because it says here, something that is to happen or has happened to a particular person or thing. Say I'm particular. God has something particular for me. God has something for you. And so then I went a little further. I said, okay, predestinate. Let's look what that says. It says to be foreordained. By God. <laughs> yeah. It says to be foreordained. Uh -huh. So if you were already ordained. That's right. By God. In the heavens. By, yeah. by God. Before you hit your mother's womb, Come you on. were ordained. That's where my purpose started. Yeah, it, it, it started before your mama and daddy met you each other. Talk about you could have been conceived in a rape. Come you could have been conceived in a molestation. Oh. Yeah. People want to make your beginning be your... In your conception, people want to talk about, oh, he came from them. Right. All them drug addicts right. and all them, all them been to prison right. and right. all of them are liars and thieves. Okay, but I'm the one that break the curse. That's right. I'm the particular one. That's right. I'm the set apart one. Right. I know they see they, they never sought God out, but I'm particular. I'm peculiar. 
Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Come on. All of those things just define my purpose. Yes, they do. Yes, they see, do. see, Saul had to go through the experience of Come being on. a murderer. Yes, he yes. had to go through the experience of power. killing of flesh so he could understand yes. what it meant for flesh to be killed. He, he, it was defining his purpose. So let me help you. That prison sentence, it defined your purpose. Yes, yes. That heartbreak, it came to define your purpose. Oh, yeah.
the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, before I formed thee uh -huh. in the belly. Because Jeremiah was making excuses. Yes, he was. Y'all want me to read it to you? Yes, he was. <laughs> let, me, let me go back up here. Again, verse 3 said, it came also in the days of Jehoka, Jehoiakim, something, the son of Josiah, uh -huh. king of Judah, unto the end of the 11th year of Zedekiah, yeah. the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of, of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth month. Then, because he's breaking it all the way down. Yeah. I've been struggling with this thing all the way down through generation to yeah. generation to generation. And so this is where he said, but then the Lord, then the word of the Lord came unto me. Get it is straight, Lord. Straighten him out. Cancel all them excuses That's about right. mama them and grandma them and papa them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when he saw that that wouldn't work, he I'm gonna help you. He's because he tried all of that yeah. and it didn't work. And then the Lord spoke up to him and said, then he the Lord rebuked him. Boy, whatever. Be, okay, I knew all of them folks would be a part of your That's story. Right. They would be a part of your purpose. They were a part of your destiny uh, before I formed thee in the belly. I yes, knew thee. I knew yeah. thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Look here, set apart. Come on. And I ordained thee oh. a prophet unto the nation. Oh. I know what you had to go through, but you, you, that don't mean that you didn't have destiny. Oh. Verse 6 says, Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Look he here. still tried to come back That's another right. way. That's he right. said, Okay, you ain't going to buy that. Well, but I'm too young, Lord. Okay. He said, I can't nothing back that either. Yeah. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. He said, For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Yeah. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. Yeah. Stop right there. That's what's wrong with a lot of y'all. That's why a lot of preachers are stuck here. That's why a lot of preachers are acting crazy and doing all kinds of stuff, dim the lights and all of this, because you ain't hearing from God. Because he told them, don't look at their faces, right. because their faces going to mess you up. Right. Because you're going to be trying to see who's smiling at you yeah. and who's mad at you, and you ain't going to be focused. And so that's why a lot of times I look straight over y'all head. I ain't got time to be trying to deal with what's on your face, because I don't need to know the word cut you. You got to know the word cut you. I don't you happy. My job is to do what God told me. 